I know the headline for this had a lot of people jumping for joy, going, "Yes, Payne and McKay are off Rings of Power! Woohoo! We won! They've been fired!" No, they haven't been fired. Uh, <laughs> this is all related to the Writers Guild uh, strike um, that's going on right now in Hollywood. So, yes, they are off of the set right now. They're not allowed to be on the set as per the terms of the strike. But they were planning ahead for this, and that's one of the reasons the show is moving ahead with filming, much like uh, Game of Thrones' um, uh, Dragon Show. Uh, that's also filming right now. Now, some of these shows are drawing criticism for continuing to film even while the strike is going on. But the reality is uh, these big, 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 big tentpole productions like Rings of Power and House of the Dragon um, have planned ahead and when there's hundreds of millions of dollars at stake um yeah they're not going to be stopping because of the strike they will find ways around it as we are clearly seeing here so um variety is reporting on this uh as of may 4th uh which was yesterday um well i guess i'm recording this on may 5th but it'll be airing on the 6th anyway um the Lord of the Rings Rings of Power is the latest marquee TV series to move forward with production amid the ongoing WGA strike. But it says here the Amazon Prime show will be doing so without the services of executive producers J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. The ser series has 19 days of filming remaining for season two. Sources confirmed a variety, but per the strike rules, Pam McKay and any other writer producers are barred from participating in writing based duties during production while the strike continues, which includes making any sort of creative decisions on set. Instead, the non-writing executive producers, such as Lindsay Webb, or the directors, Charlotte Brandstrom, Sana Hamri, and Louise Hooper, and other crew members are overseeing productions on the UK-based shoot. It says here there have been multiple units filming on Rings of Power, including night shoots, for much of the duration of the season, given its feature-length film scope. Um, but it says here that Payne and McKay planned in advance with the production team for a possible writer strike to make their absence from the show as seamless as possible now this is also what they were doing with um house of the dragon you know you've got i mean when you're looking at shows that cost 20 million 50 million you know 20 to 50 million dollars per episode a writer strike is not going to get in the way of a production schedule that's already been put in place months in advance and a shoot that's already been in the middle of production and they might be 20 days into a shoot they might be you know 70 days into a shoot but when you've got all this money put into production like this, it's not that big of a deal. I should probably put air quotes around that. It's not that big of a deal to not have the showrunners present on set when there are workarounds in place. You give your shooting orders to the directors, make sure that everyone understands, hey, this could go on for two, three weeks, however long it's going to go on. Here's your set of instructions for the next few weeks and just move on now i think the joke for a lot of people is that oh this is finally the chance for rings of power to be good <laughs> and there's probably the, the 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 commentary is going to be if there are any good moments in season two of rings of power someone's going to bring it up and be like well those are the moments that were that were <laughs> that were put into the show when Payne and mcquay were off the show and they were busy with the writer's strike that's why this part of rings of power season two is actually good because they weren't the ones show running it at that point in time which i just think goes to show a, a certain level of naivete regarding film production because there are a lot of moving parts a lot of different people involved a lot of different eyes and ears and hands and if somebody can't be on set for a few days it's not going to be that big of a deal in the scope of the greater production because everything's already been set in motion you know months in advance possibly even a year or more in advance in terms of just making sure that things are moving ahead at full speed no matter what because once once you're on location and you've got cast and crew and catering and set designs and and costuming and, and makeup and vfx and everything else once everybody's on site it's not as easy as just stopping because now you're talking about about millions of dollars a day uh, millions of dollars per day in delays if this if something can't go forward not to mention their insurance claims and so on and so forth that can happen when, when something like this takes place so i don't think it's any surprise that Peyton mckay aren't on set right now um, it's just part of the ongoing writer strike it says here the pressure on all current film and tv production during the writer strike is compounded by the looming june 30th contract deadline 
for Screen Actors Guild after and the DGA. If the guilds and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers fail to reach a new contract agreement by that date, actors and directors could join the, act- the writer's strike, leading to an even more dramatic and drastic industry-wide shutdown. Um, set here rings power shift production from New Zealand to the UK for the eight episode second season, which started filming October 3rd, 2022. Um, it says here, this story has been updated to reflect how long multiple units have been shooting the rings of power and that the production planned in advance for a writer's strike. And what's very interesting here, and they talk about the potential for directors and actors to join the writer's strike. Uh, if you're not familiar with what's going on with the current writer's strike, this is, it's everything related to Making sure that writers are being fairly compensated for work on all types of shows, particularly when we're talking about streaming platforms and how residuals, you know, and all these other things aren't necessarily being paid to writers. Uh, there was an interesting interview recently um, where there was a writer for one of these, you know, Emmy nominated shows and he was a writer on that show and he showed up to the um, this awards ceremony um, on loan, like using borrowed money and was literally living on credit because he wasn't being paid enough to cover his cost of living. Um, used he, the, the individual, I'm going to have to go pull up that article and talk about it in another video, but he was talking about that writer in particular was talking about how they were living in this shared space and they were working out of a library um, on the show, writing on the show from a public library to where they had internet access and they had never actually been on set. Um, during the time that they were contracted to write on the show. And it just kind of blew my mind because those are the types of corners that were cut. And I know that when you start looking at how the heads of some of these big television uh, media production houses are getting paid $250 million salaries, um, you know, that's enough money to cover the writers to be, you know, fairly compensated as a writer myself. Um, even though I've never been involved in a Hollywood production, I know that pay scale has always been a big deal for writers because everyone wants to cut corners where possible and people tend to look at the writers as like well it's just a writer you know it's just they're not actually an on you know they're not an on-screen persona that you know you don't see their face um they're not part of the production they're not part of the executive production team they're not part of the showrunner team so on and so forth if you're just a writer that's often you can get just shunted in the background so it's good that the strike is happening because it is going to ensure fairer compensation for writers across the board but it's an interesting situation where if this expands beyond this um i mean the shooting for rigs of power will be done by then um if they've only got what did they say they had uh, 19 days left in the schedule so they'll be done by the end of, of June, but uh, June 30th is the contract deadline. Um, so they'll be done by the end of May shooting Rings of Power. So they've got till the end of June for all this other stuff. But that's going to be an interesting thing because if that goes into place, um, that could theoretically shut down post-production and special effects and everything else on the Rings of Power, along with many, 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 many other shows. Um, but, but yeah, Payne and McKay are not fired. They're still very much in charge of things they're just not on the set right now because they are uh, bound by the rules of the guild and the strike that's going on food for thought anyway like subscribe hit the bell icon see you next time everybody